Rescue teams have been working through the night on the Italian island of Ischia, which was hit by severe mudslides on Saturday. One person has been confirmed dead. Eleven are reported to be missing. The BBC's Mark Lowen reports. Through the night came the rain, torrential and fast. And then the mud, a landslide pouring through Ischia before dawn, burying and upturning what lay in its path. Cars, trees, debris flung aside and uprooted. The rescue boats set off early, but were hampered by strong winds and rough seas, buffeting attempts to reach the island from Naples. As they came ashore, the impact was clear. Morning light revealed the torrents of mud and what they'd buried. This mountain has fallen on the homes that are no longer there, he says. Houses were engulfed with people trapped beneath the mud. Dozens of firefighters helped evacuate those they could, a rescue and a search for those still missing. The fear is that as more areas are unearthed, the number of confirmed victims could rise. For the islanders, their tranquility was shaken by a nightmare. There are some cars that are facing upwards, that are shifted to the side. Looking at them, one cannot explain how it was possible. Vehicles were tossed aside and battered, hurled by a wave of mud into the waves of the ocean. Houses have been cut off, some without power, the authorities calling on residents to stay inside. Ischia's narrow streets are caked in the chaos, many of its homes illegally built over the years, unstable and vulnerable. Now an anxious wait for the weather to lift, to see the extent of the damage wreaked, turning Ischia from island idyll into rivers of mud. Mark Lowen reporting. Well, Mark is now on a ferry from Naples to Ischia. It's the first on that route since it was suspended on Saturday. And he told me more about why the damage has been so extensive. It has known mudslides and uh, earthquakes before. And one of the problems in Ischia is that about, about half of the houses have been illegally built. And so they are unstable and they're vulnerable to uh, these kinds of natural disasters because they are just not stable enough and they're not, uh, they're not securely built enough. Uh, added to that, it is, an, it is a volcanic island, so there is a lot of ash and there's a lot of powdered mud, which, which then flows very quickly. Um, the authorities this morning have, uh, I was reading one report that said that the amount of rain that fell from, from Friday night and Saturday morning uh, in the space of six hours is record. And so obviously there was, uh, you know, people will be looking at, at, the, at the impact of climate change on, on that kind of deluge of water. But then you have that illegally, those illegally built houses and you have money that sat in Ischia after the previous earthquake in 2017 and was not used to shore up the houses. So there's kind of local problems as well. Um, firefighters and rescue teams are doing what they can to try to evacuate some of the Ischia residents, but I mean, it is, it is absolutely dramatic scenes from there. Um, for now, as I say, the, the, the numbers of victims remains relatively low, given the, 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 the dramatic scenes that we saw, but you know, we will, we will wait to see during the day if that number goes up.